So welcome to playing the virtual cello. Hopefully you're at the virtual cello page. If not, head back to the links here at uh, Intermediate Orchestra Google Classroom. Uh, there they are. And if you haven't watched the introduction video, watch that first. All right, virtual cello. So you can see, obviously, as I click on the strings, it plays. It's a little high for cello, but there's not much that we can do about that. Or at least I haven't discovered what we can do. It's set to the low there. Anyway, if your screen is scrolling around, if you've got a touch screen or um, using a trackpad, you might want to lock your screen. That's going to stop it scrolling around. You'd need to unlock it to be able to scroll again. So that you might need to do that. We've got the four strings. You can see the thickest one. C, G, G, D, and A. So look at the thickness of the strings to figure out which one is which. Down here we've got numbers. Now, be careful, these are not finger numbers. These are the number of half steps along the string. So no half steps, let's do the D string, is D. If I go up a half step, I get D sharp. Two half steps is E. Another half step gives me F natural. There's F sharp, G, G sharp, and A. So these are marking off half steps, they're not finger numbers. So how does that relate to your tapes that you would normally see? So at number two, two half steps along the string, that's your one tape. At number four, that's your next tape where your third finger usually goes. And at number five, five half steps up is your fourth finger tape. So that's what it would look like. You might want to give a, a get a piece of paper and make a quick diagram of that to remember. On the A string then, at zero is A. At two, where I'd put my first finger is B. Third tape, which is at number four. Third finger tape, C sharp, and there's D. We've been working with C natural which would be your second finger is falling right here. Okay, so again, these numbers are not finger numbers. Make sure you know where the tapes go and give this a try. Then check in for the next video on how to play with music. All right.